Oh, what's going down, Commanders? Right, today, this morning, uh, it's, it's, it's only going to be, hopefully, a short video, but I'm going to discuss it anyway because it's been... It's been a big prevalent thing consistently being put into the game by the players. And I'm going to try to explain to you why a second dozer is not a good idea. And if this makes sense to you, then it makes sense to you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. What I'm saying with a second dozer, with kickside, this is what they said. That I'm going back years, maybe five years, maybe even longer. Is if they put a second dozer into the game, every single building in the game will double in upgrade time. So you're not gaining, you will not gain a thing. As far as I'm aware, unless Kicks have changed their stance on that, and they 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 think right, okay, maybe a second dose might be an option, and they they choose not to double the uh, upgrade time. That's the only way we're going to get a, a, an even second doser. But the way the game's set up right now, the first, the one doser is, in my opinion, it's perfect. I'm not I've not got no issues with one doser. Because do you know what I don't want? I don't want a let's say for instance, let's have a look at something that costs a bit of upgrade time. I think I've got a level on that. So that's a five-day upgrade. That, instead of that being a five-day five, up, five day upgrade, it's going to jump to 10 days. So you're not gaining nothing from a second dozer because they will double the, the upgrade times. The whole point of upgrade times within this game to units, buildings, and anything else we do in the game is kicks high and trying to entice you into to making a, a, a deposit and, and coining that upgrade, whether it be the full... 100% worth of the upgrade or whether it be a percentage of the upgrade they, they want it's all about enticing you and this is what I keep going back to when you look at buildings and things like that and it's even more so for the coiners and people like that you've got to look at the value to the the true value of the building towards the the actual time that it might take you to get it to max and in your head in your own personal opinion I can't choose for anyone else it's not my place I do not do that I'd, 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 I'd even go so far to say, when people say to me, what, what units should I upgrade? What units should I collect? What units should I build? I don't give them a, a straight cut, clear cut answer. I go off and I say, what units do you use the most? Because my play style isn't necessarily the same play style as someone else. Someone, I'm not a great fan, I'm going to be honest with you now, I'm not a great fan of the Akumas. I think they're a they're a lazy way to play the game, but I understand at the same time that the Akuma or the outrunners for the Akumas are what some players want to how they want to play their game. So I, you know, I'm not going to judge you. I'm asking you not to judge me at the same time. If I don't use Akumas when they're the easier easier upgrade or not upgrade easier way to do a base, you've got to understand. I'm trying to draw my own fun out of the game rather than I'm showing you my way of playing the game. That's the reason why I, I make videos. Is it's my take on how I play the game. Not it's not necessarily to to show you how you play your game. Your your choices are your choices. I hope I hope that makes sense. Anyway, getting back to the um the actual uh, Oza. I nearly forgot what it was called. Then be very careful what you ask for because if kicks I do eventually relent and go okay, you get a Oza. What I'm saying to you is the upgrade times will. That, look, they may not double, but they may may go up by half, seventy five percent, or whatever you want to, whatever way you want to look at it. So you're not really going to gain anything. Yes, you're going to upgrade two buildings at the same time, but they're going to be twice as long upgrades to to get them to that level that you want them at. So it's just that that yin and yang. You've got to be careful what you ask for to what kicks I actually give you. It's like the ideas, you know, on the the ideas on the kicks I Discord. They. This is what I've noticed when people put ideas on there, and I've seen people put ideas on there and kicks. So I've used them ideas, but what they do is they twist the ideas to a point where it's no longer the original idea. They twist it to a point where it's it's actually more in kicks eyes favour than what it is of the original idea that was put out there. So that's another thing you got to be careful of when you when you do suggest things. Kicks I may take that idea, twist it and turn it and flip it upside down to the point where it's no longer the same idea as what you said. But it, it, it kind of is, but it's it's so much in the favour of Kicksai that it makes no sense. You've got to be very careful. Um, I, I think one dose is in, in, enough. Oh, I've got to do these as well. I got smashed to shit last night. Um, one dose is enough. Be happy with what you got, guys. Um, because when you ask for more, you sometimes get less. That's, that's the way I see it, at least. Um, Hopefully we're all ready for the CC night. I'm I'm actually upgrading nothing at the minute. How many days? We've got one more day left. I stopped upgrading buildings about two days ago. 
something like that. I think maybe even three days ago, I actually cancelled the building upgrade so I can change a few uh, turrets in my base and things like that. It went, well, that's that's. You know what? I'd rather see kicks. I do something like that when you when you change a turret over, uh, not a turret because they actually change over. But say I want to change the platform, I'd rather these be where you don't need a dozer to worry about them. So they they actually change over without the do the dozer can be working and these would change over automatically. I think the bunkers and towers are the same. I'd rather them just change over automatically than. And get, get a second dozer and i know a lot of people are going to be up in arms saying oh city yeah but a second dozer you're not understanding it doesn't matter a second dozer will not it will not make things go quicker kicks are going to double the, the upgrade times the costs that's all that's going to happen it's, it's it, you're not going to gain nothing it's going to be the same as if you got one dozer but in your mind because you got two you think that's more you're actually getting less well you're actually getting the same that's all i want to put out there guys i don't want to I don't want to shit on everyone's parade, but just understand it. If they ever did put a second dozer in, the times to the building's upgrades will just fucking be drastically longer. Drastically longer. I've run out of coffee and all. Um, I'm not going to keep you no longer. I think I've kept you long long enough. Um, I'll, the discussion. I'm open for a discussion, and we can argue the points. You can put your opinions across. Uh, I love the ideas of some of the players. I think you're better off putting the ideas in, into a, a, a discussion rather than go onto the Kickside Discord where they would twist your idea and fucking turn it inside out and use it to their advantage against the players. That's what. That's what. That's the biggest issue with the game right now is Kickside. When you do put an idea it, dear, into the game and, and something that that might be fun for the players, that Kickside twist it so fucking upside down and backwards. But it's no longer that fun idea that everyone seems to agree with. It, it's just it's they 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 want to take without giving kicks on. That's the biggest problem with a company that's only about profits. If you go watch Steel Front's YouTube channel, just type Steel Front Group into YouTube, and it will come up their um their YouTube page. In fact, I'll put it in the description below. I'll give you the Steel Front, and basically all they do on there on their still front group is they do these committee meetings and uh shareholder uh blogs boasting about how much money they're earning a month how much money they're earning a quarter uh showing off how they ca how they get the players or the yeah the players to their games spending more money over uh, over a longer period of time how their games is more sustainable over the years it's all about money 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 with them they never discuss the dynamics of the game or the the content of the games they never discuss that, that more players are joining their games and they, they're finding their games fun and more entertaining so that makes them spend more money all it's about is how they can fucking rip players off for, for a cheap fucking thrill that lasts all the five minutes that's that's still front group as in a nutshell and it's a shame to see that from a, a company that that spent a lot of money on a on on the what was it four or five games from kicks it's just a shame it's just the way it fucking works i'm afraid and i will as i say i will leave the uh the youtube link the still front group in the in the description below so if you want to, if you're interested in that you can go and have a look and watch some of their films or videos whatever you want to call them anyway guys i hope you have a wonderful day we will be back i think it's tomorrow the actual downtime for the cc update we will get the patch notes tonight but it is tomorrow we'll be live for the cc 19 i always keep to say I want to say 18 but it's 19 cc 19 all the goodness that comes with that hopefully we'll see you there and then friday we'll also be live for the uh sector breach another drag of an event that's no fun again once again anyway guys take care and i'll see you soon bye bye